Hi, this is Dr. Neil Schwartz. Today's video is entitled, The Gastrointestinal System Made Easy. And the intent of the video is to give you a little more understanding of the gastrointestinal system, and that understanding may turn into better daily habits once you really see how tangible the inner workings and the systems of your body really are. So, like prior videos, the question arises, what is the function of our gastrointestinal system? What is its purpose? The answer is, the purpose of the gastrointestinal system is to extract and absorb nutrients from the outside world. So we're going to ingest certain nutrients and get them into our bloodstream for use by all the cells in all the organs. How does that occur? We'll make it simple. You put something in your mouth, and the minute you start chewing on it, and the minute your saliva hits it, it's already starting to digest. You're mechanically digesting it, and the saliva is chemically digesting it. Then it goes down your esophagus, and then when it hits your stomach, more digestion occurs through the acid in your stomach and the other enzymes that are released. Then it moves into the small intestine, and it interacts with bile from the liver and the gallbladder, and it interacts with pancreatic enzymes from the pancreas. And then through the small intestine, using all those enzymes in the mix, it's slowly breaking down and getting absorbed into the walls of the small intestine. From the small intestine, it moves down into your large intestine where more nutrients are absorbed and water is absorbed so that you don't get dehydrated when you go to the bathroom. Now, how does the knowledge of this anatomy and physiology, even in its most basic sense, help us with our health and our wellness? Here's how. The act of eating is oftentimes an unconscious act. You know, we put our heads down on our plate and we start throwing food down and before we know it, the whole plate is cleared and we don't even know what happened. It's highly unconscious. When you know the anatomy of physiology, it may bring a, about an awareness to not just what you eat, but how you eat. For example, if you know the smooth muscles of your esophagus and your small intestine don't like to be stretched too fast and too aggressively, you may decide to eat a little bit slower and less unconsciously. You may eat with a little less wear and tear on your digestive system, just in the pace in which you eat. When we shovel things down our mouth, it hurts the mechanics of our gastrointestinal system. Also, when you think of it as a tangible system of smooth muscles and tubes and enzymes and things that can break all along the way down, you may choose to eat healthier foods knowing that that unhealthy food is going to put an extra wear and tear on your gastrointestinal system. You may also decrease the volume of food you eat knowing that the esophagus, the stomach, and the small intestine can all take a lot of wear and tear when you eat too much food as well. So knowing the anatomy and physiology and knowing that it can break all the way down the track may help you eat less volume, it may help you eat slower, and it may help you eat more healthy and nutritious foods. Now again, knowing this anatomy and physiology may not be enough to emotionally motivate you to eat healthy foods, to eat slower, and to eat less volume until you think about the symptoms. It's always the symptoms that become emotional. For example, we know what a bellyache feels like, we know what diarrhea is like, we know what having problems with your backside is like. All of these problems and symptoms get worse and worse every year that you don't have a good gastrointestinal hygiene or you don't have good habits. Every year they get worse until you end up at the surgeon's office and they start hacking you up. And that is the only answer when someone's completely not taking care of themselves day to day. So hopefully this video will help you use your mind's eye to see your gastrointestinal tract when you eat and it'll just keep you a little more conscious and a little less savage and that in and of itself may help your overall wellness and your overall health and happiness in life. I hope this video helps. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care.